Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your Days of Our Live review for December 28, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, we start out with Kay wearing the A, gonna bring the hammer down her. Huh? Is she going to prison before the new year coming in? We find out Abe can't press charges cause that means Theo gonna get um, charged with a crime cause he was technically breaking and entering. Yes, Kate might have put him to the job, but if he get in trouble, she gonna get in trouble. So, long story short, Kate fit to get away with another damn crime. Um, Andre still defending her. Andre invited her to New Year's Eve party that, um... Abigail throwing Vivian gonna be there to turn it out tomorrow. Cause you seen her in the end with her invitation. And um Abigail talking about so I don't know who invitation this is. Vivian finna come with her goon ready. Finna start some shit. That's what she finna do. I guarantee you is Vivian messing with Demara. Who else could it be? I think everybody that said I was coming back came back and said uh, um, that boy from the Young and the Wrestlers is two more people minus Vivian. So it got to be Vivian or these last two coming in because more than likely it's going to be Vivian since she coming to the New Year's Eve party. Because who else is she going to bother? Victor going to put, a, put his foot in her as she come to the, um, Victor carry on the Victor house, so the mansion, so she don't want no parts of Victor and her and Victor and in on no good time, so it got to be Vivian fucking with the Mary. It got to be her. Who else could it be? I mean, um, unless it's Kristen, which I highly doubt that. Kristen doing her own thing. Stepping on, we don't know if he alive or dead. They say he did, but you never know when it comes to stepping on. So it got to be Vivian. My my bad, my um, is been in Vivian basket ever since I heard she was coming back there. She was fucking with the man or something. We'll find out if she is or if she not fucking with the man or um. Andre invited Kate to, um, to the New Year's Eve party. She accepted it. Um... Abe answer one small question for her that Theo no longer works or do any jobs with the Mara. She agrees to that. Andre got an objection. Of course he does. He should have just left well enough for fucking long when it came to that. But no, he got something to say. He gonna say it. Andre, you not got your cake. The woman that you love that don't know that you even alive in the room. Would you please leave well enough alone and let that woman do what she got to do? She's still trying to save her hide. Now that she didn't got the two fires out, there's still one more fire burning. Um, Chad, once Chad find out she ain't gonna be charged, you can only imagine Andre, I mean Chad for the switch this, switch, switch this shit around on her ass. Cause you know he not too fond of her right now. And she didn't got off easy off of Abe. She didn't got easy off of Theo. Um Chad was keeping quiet this whole entire time. So you ain't not the cool yet. Um you ain't not the on um, the um the pot yet, Kate. You still don't know what Chad gonna do to your ass. So I come it down if I was you. You might end up getting arrested still in handcuffs on New Year's at that party. So if I was you, I cool and then I kept my blessings. And also keep sitting around Andre Mouth or Andre won't get you in trouble. Cause him opening his mouth for that whole situation was not worth it. Anyways, though, A making up for his time when he, he was on 10 or 20. Basically, he gave a, um, he apologized to Rave. Told Rafe, I'm sorry for the way I was acting. I was out of line. I was a hurt, um, I was a hurt dad that could have lost his child, so he made everything up with Rafe and Hope. He offered Rafe, I mean, Hope back her job. It's amazing how she was so concerned about Sierra all of a sudden talking to Cuz Jennifer. Now all of a sudden, she got her job back, Sierra back on the back burner again. But you need to put Sierra ass back to the front and put your job back on the back burner because I am sick of her and she is working on my damn nerves.
deserves. And I'm glad Theo told her what the hell he told her. She deserves it. We'll get to that in a moment when I get to that in my notes. I'm not looking forward to it, but we're going to talk about it. Anyways, Dawn. Um, basically, they broke it down to Abe. Abe took his straight. He ain't used no chaser. Basically, is that if he go along with this, meaning he won't take to get some kind of prosecution or a charge against her, basically, the same can be done to Theo because he was basically breaking and entering that night. He was committing a crime that night before he got shot, so him being alive and him doing better is not going to do good for you trying to come off the cake, so he ain't got no trouble but to break, um, about to um, drop the charges. Hope said to cast his clothes, um, that they cast his clothes. Ray said with a good judge, with a good lawyer, he can get a knock down to a misdemeanor and he won't have no charges on him or on his record. So that was good. But like I said, there's still one more wild card left. They go th um Chad and Chad still feels on top of Wayne. Chad then won't take to that New Year's Eve party, but Abigail somehow eased it in there. He agreed to it. It's amazing how Abigail tell him something. He instantly, okay, we can do it. Abigail, you good to Chad. Let's see how long you stay good to Chad. That's what I'm seeing. I ain't gonna wish y'all nothing bad on y'all relationship, though. I like y'all together, though. So, we gonna need that one alone, though. And hopefully y'all make it work this goddamn time. <sighs> now, here go the part I was not looking forward for. Theo, Tripp, Sierra, and Claire. Sierra, I don't know what you were looking for when you went up there pleading your case to Theo. I don't know what the hell you thought you were going to get when you reached up there and pleaded your heart out to him. You better left him for his cousin. That boy forgot about that. Yeah, it might be a year in granny. Yeah, Claire and um, Theo have their mamas are arguing over followers and how many likes she get. That's their relationship. That's not none of your relationship. And you making Trip doing your your little silly little game. Had her um had Trip had um had Trip calling Claire telling her she got to come back to work and the woman said she wanted to see her just what the, this what Sierra can plead her case to um the Theo like Sierra I'ma say this and I'ma say it again. You had your car. Your car was nice. You seen the sports car, Chad. You went and sold your old car thinking you were going to get in that nice sports car, Chad. Selling your old car just to get this new sports car. You thought you had the credit and the money for this sports car. They declined both of them. Now you stuck without a car. Now you alone and miserable. And now you right here fighting Claire and mad at Claire cause you basically losing. See, that's what happens when you try to get something you know you can't afford. You know you couldn't afford that sports car or that sport or that sports car might, might have not liked it your ass like you liked it in. You left this man. You best have told this boy, you not fast enough for me. And if you want to keep me, you're going to have to go a little faster and be a more wilder than I am. Be wild with me. Or I'm leaving you for the nice hot, for the nice sports car that's sitting out here that I want to drive in. Chad, that sports car you thought you wanted, yeah, Chad broke your heart. Remember that? Then you went back trying to cry back on Theo arm and Theo best have told you, hell no, go away. Mm -hmm. And that's when um, Claire Bessler eased in and stole your man. Yeah, she stole him. Yes, yeah, she did some other hand of stuff to get um Theo. But they are in love. They is a year in on their relationship. You went to Hong Kong for a year, come back and you're still angry. Sierra, it's time to get the hell off red. Theo Bessie told you right. Yes, we have our problem. Yes, we argue like every other normal couple that's in a relationship argue. What makes you think our relationship gonna be as bad as you trying to be? So what if that girl had girlfriends, I mean boyfriends in school? What you trying to say? That she a hoe? Cause she had boyfriends? Not her fault that she was popping and she had men and you couldn't get one. So, how you gonna blame that girl? 
ain't even Sierra, you were trying to be paid him. Not only that, then you gonna talk about some yeah, she got feelings for Trip. No the hell she don't got feelings for Trip. Trip got feelings for her. She know Trip got feelings for her. She might be using that to her advantage, but still she ain't um giving Trip back them same feelings he got for her. So you can cut that out too. Sierra, just admit that you lost that move the hell along with your life. You'll do a lot of you'll do the world a lot more favor if you'd actually do that and mind your own damn business. I mean now you just become a ridiculous and then you mad at um Claire. Like Claire ain't done something to you and Claire ain't did nothing for you. I mean like you gonna be as mad as you want to about her. You can Turn green if you want to turn hawk red. Or turn hawk red, green, whatever. Color. Sierra, you lost it. You might as well go ahead and live with it. Live with it and deal with it. That's best of all you're going to do. If you're feeling that froggy, go on back to Hong Kong with um with Belle and, and Sean. Go on to Hong Kong back with them. Hell, you was there for a year anyway. Come on back another whole... Matter of fact, come back next time this year. And let's, see you, let's try it again with you. Cause you coming back thinking you doing something, you ain't doing nothing, and you thinking you gonna interfere in what clearing to your hand, and they years in. Good luck with that one, okay, Sierra. They are leaving, going back to Hong Kong. Wait, let's get Hope ass on out the way. Let, yeah, let's go ahead and get her ass on out the way. Have y'all noticed that Rafe and Hope they talking about a wedding date now? At first, they wouldn't talk about no wedding date. That's why they broke up the first time. Mind you, they're talking about a wedding date now. But they, she, what Hope said, oh, I got my own separate dates, but I'm not sure which one yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hope. You done lost Ray once. You're going to lose them again. You're going to lose them this time about that. Um, him sleeping with Sammy, I bet you. You ain't going to lose it over no damn wedding date this time around. Hope, if you don't go ahead and marry that boy and stop playing around with dates and you don't know which one you gonna pick but you got Sabra how you playing around again a woman that's gonna get married they know which day they gonna get married and they will shop that to the root talks at the top of their lungs you talking about some oh you need to switch that shit around from I don't know what day to oh I got Sabra dates but I don't know which one perfect for me yet hope you better get your shit together before your daughter blab on you, blab on Rafe that Rafe slept with Sammy. You better get your shit together, um, Hope. You talking about some you got a date, but you don't know which. Okay, Hope. Let's run with that. Why she worrying about telling people that about her way? And she also trying to put Rafe, not Rafe. Jennifer and um Eric together and she said best of what I'm saying. Yeah, Eric had a thing for Jennifer. I mean Nicole Nicole out of time is your turn. Nick, um Jennifer, you better go ahead and get Eric if you want him and stop playing around. Keep on playing around and being good to two shoes. And you sit around and let Eric pass you by again. Like Hope was saying and I'll with Hope. Ho um Nicole out of town. That man single. That man tired of being alone on these winter months. Why don't you go ahead and entertain that man? Hell, you already feeding him stuff and them and playing games with him. And looking into his eyes like you want to kiss him. Hell, you might as well here. Go ahead and give him a little date to shit. Like you sit up there playing around, Jennifer. You going to end up losing him again to the floozy. You keep on playing around. Now I'm trying to feel sorry for you, Jennifer. You and Eric and y'all almost what it was. Bella. Bella. It's amazing how you always have these big old jobs and these very important job offers you have when you get out of town on Hong Kong. This is the reason why you said you leaving going back to Hong Kong because you got a big job. Man, uh, you is not that important and you is not that busy. I don't care what you say, Bell. You cute and all. You cute. I give you a little big head. You cute. I like you. Bell, you ain't that goddamn busy. You can't as much help one client out. Besides running back to Hong Kong, that showed me right there, honey, your lawyer and your job. Mm -mm -mm. B, 
bell ain't gonna need much dish you like that. But honey, you need to try a little harder. That's all I'ma say about you, Bell. You can't much uh, you ain't even much done working with one client shit and Hong Kong already calling you. What you did spent a few days in Salem and now all of a sudden Hong Kong in a big job offer. It's amazing how you have these big job offers when you out of town. Mm-hmm. But yet you gonna tell Chad and gonna warn Chad that after talking to Sean, I guess she put on her love. Let me stop. Anyways, though, Bea, how you got um Chad on on um retainer? But yet you ain't done with him yet. But yet you finna run your ass back to Hong Kong talking about some big job offer. If I were Chad right in and there, you wouldn't be, uh, you wouldn't get that nail damn penny for me. If I was Chad, luckily for Chad, he like feeding you his money with your. Mm -mm. She says she's a lawyer, so I'ma run with that. She's a lawyer. I don't know where the hell, I don't know who the hell she lawyer or who the hell for the she for the she for the hell lose their case taking her. Mm -mm. Bell couldn't be my lawyer down the street, and I'm just saying, I ain't bashing her. I'm just saying, Bell, you couldn't be my lawyer. Be around here for a petty theft crime to end up getting arrested fucking around with Bell as your lawyer. You got me messed. Uh uh. -uh. Bell, you dropped the ball on this one. You did try to cover up your ass with telling um, Chad that. You feel something coming in that somebody might try to attack him. That keep his eyes open that somebody might try to attack the mirror again. I give you that when you did somewhat of your job, but that ain't enough to be paying your ass what your part of your retainer fee is. Bill, go ahead and get your free money. Um, so I'm guessing Claire Stan. Um, oh God. Can you tell some Bell, Bell, before I say goodbye to you, Bell, Bell, you ain't even much off the flight yet. Bell, I fetch you ain't even much at the airport. Come get Sierra and take her ass back to Hong Kong for another year. Could you do me a favor and do that, please? Thank you. Take her back again. Y'all ain't raising her no better than Hope is anyway, so it won't matter one of the difference. C Bell, come get um Sierra and take her back to with you. Matter of fact, that'll relieve me. Because I'm sick of them two together. Claire and Sierra, and they fighting over our men that don't want them. That's about all I got to talk about. Um... Oh, 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 oh. Chad and Abigail, I forgot about them. So, Abigail still setting up for this party. Basically, the party is to appeal to the mayor. The Demera board members, cause Chad supposed to be taken back to CEO position, and I guess the the Demera board a, 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 ain't too fun of um Chad being the CEO. They they like the cake, but they didn't like Chad running. Yeah, you got to do all that. What's the use to having a last name? You can't be CEO. Hell, half of my family dead. We got a crazy one, Andre. I'm about the same as the mayor. So who else gonna run the company besides me or Kay? You damn sure don't want Andre run. Woo. Chad, that's a hard rocket. That's a play. <laughs> Chad, it must be tough being a Demera. Seriously, it must be. Kristen ain't nowhere to be defined. We all know it's stiff and no dead or alive. Andre ain't in his right mind 24 hours or half of the damn time. Chad, you want to run the mirror, but they on shaky ground with you too. Kate, they like you for some damn reason. And she ain't even much of the, even much of the, of the mirror and they like Kate. Ain't that some shit? Whatever, I hope you get it. And like Andre was telling Kate though that um he gonna protect her and watch out for her and make sure this don't go down cause basically Abigail sent up this party to try to ease into the good graces of the board. You gonna see how much it's gonna work tomorrow when Vivian show her her little no good ass there. It ain't gonna work out um um, Abigail, and I'm sorry. Y'all gonna be CEO, CEO. <laughs> it ain't gonna be no CEO at um the Mary Enterprises unless y'all want Kate back. Cause 
Chad, I don't see you getting that position either. Andre, boy, but I ain't finna give it to you neither. Anyway, so y'all, that was the episode. That's about all I want to talk about. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.